In our psalm this morning we sang, Happy are those whose hearts are set on the pilgrim way. The pilgrim way is such a lovely image for us to have of ourselves. Because it, it comports so well with this image that we have had week after week recently of traveling with Jesus on his way to Jerusalem with that gang of disciples that he had with him. All of them in their way set, their hearts set on the pilgrim way. And as we go along with him, he has been talking about this pilgrim way himself. And you recall that about two weeks ago, the Pharisees had asked him, when is the kingdom of God going to come? And he replied to them, the kingdom of God is within you. Or the word he used has a kind of double meaning. It also means among you. So the kingdom of God is within you or among you as we walk along the pilgrim way. That's his basic message to us in these weeks. So the stories that we're hearing, these parables that we're hearing, is, are all ways in which we, we see that kingdom that he is bringing into the world as we walk along on the pilgrim way. You remember, two weeks ago, we had the story about the lepers who were healed. There were ten of them, and one of them turned back to give thanks. And the others who were all healed went on their way and were probably grateful for being healed and having their lives fixed up again. But one of them turned back, and Jesus says, to him that your faith, your thanksgiving, your gratefulness has given you a different kind of life. So, and that particular leper has been able to discover that kingdom of God simply in the act of giving thanks. It's not that the other lepers were, were were bad, it's that they were, they missed the door to the kingdom that was right there. The giving of thanks to the, this, that this leper did was the door that opened his eyes to be able to see God's presence in the world. And these parables are all about the door in people's lives where they can see the kingdom and perhaps even step into the kingdom for a moment or maybe for more than a moment. Last week we had the parable of the widow who was so intent on achieving justice and the judge who only begrudgingly gave it to she discovers in the end that justice is served and that in her persistence on the cause of justice, she has walked through that door that leads to kingdom value, that gives, leads to kingdom life. And maybe even the judge has learned that as well. Maybe even the judge has learned that for all the grumpiness that he is, he can still do justice. He can still achieve justice. So today, we have this story of the two men who go to the temple. One is a Pharisee who keeps the law, who does all the things he's supposed to do. And when he gets to the temple, he says, I thank God that I do all the right things, that my life is righteous, and that I'm not like other people. And the 
tax collector who comes stands a far way off and can't even raise up his head to pray because he just says, God, I know who I am. I'm just a miserable sinner. I'm no good. And yet it is he who goes home with a sense of having been declared just by God. It is his humility that opens the door for him into this kingdom of God. So here we have three weeks in a row where we have three or four different characters, all of whom have encountered the kingdom of God along the way. One with thanksgiving, one in the pursuit, pursuit persistently of justice, and one in humility. It makes you think that maybe, maybe this kingdom of God that Jesus talks about really is at hand, really is within us or in our midst. It is as if as we walk the pilgrim way ourselves, there are these doors along the way. And like most of the lepers, we walk by them. But sometimes, sometimes through gratitude, sometimes through the pursuit of justice, sometimes through sheer humility, the door opens. And we get a glimpse of what the kingdom of God is like. And maybe we set through the door for a bit. And we don't stay through the door. We go back onto the pilgrim way and walk our way along like those nine lepers. For all of our passage. But knowing that those doors are open along the way. Now, of course, the danger of the parable that we heard today is that we think we're holy because we've done the right thing, like the Pharisees. We think that we're maybe a little bit better than the next person. We're a little bit better because, after all, we're on the pilgrim way. Who can complain? Who can say anything bad about us? We're, we're trying to be good. And we're not like those other people. And of course, that's the trap of today's parable. As soon as we begin to think that we have achieved some kind of holiness, that we have somehow become better than the other, well, then we've slammed the door to the kingdom itself. We have become the Pharisees. So as we continue to walk this pilgrim way, which we will continue to do for the coming next few weeks, and next week most particularly because we celebrate All Saints Sunday, which is the celebration of those people who have discovered those doors along the way. So we give ourselves to this journey to walk on the pilgrim way and to and to not take pride in that, but to open our eyes for all those doors that are there.